John Easton loves watching grass grow. He's president of Easton Sod Farms, headquartered in Bixby, Oklahoma, with four commercial stores and 1,500 acres of farmland. It all began 38 years ago. We started in 1973, and my dad started the business. I was just getting out of high school. And uh, he uh, got a contract to do Tulsa International Airport. And our first job came out of a cow pasture. He raised a lot of alfalfa, and we just kind of made the transition from alfalfa to, to sod. And it all grew from there. Started doing a lot of varieties of grass, and we started reaching out to some other states. And it just kind of one of those things. It just kind of took off. Varieties like zoysia, buffalo grass, fescue, and patriot. This is uh, the patriot grass? This is, the, this is our patriot grass that was uh, invented by the turf scientists at OSU. And how long have you been working with it and we've, what's your opinion? We've been working with this grass about five or six years and it's just, uh, it's a great, it's a great turf. What's great about it? It's, it's resilience. It, uh, it's got really good damage recovery and, it, and uh, the athletic people really like it. It's very hardy. It's got a good color. It's just a really tough, durable Bermuda grass. It's certified by Oklahoma State University in Oklahoma Crop Improvement. This grass is about a year old, and it's, uh, we, have a, we have a machine that goes through and it chops up the grass and, and makes sprigs, stolons, and then we plant it and then it grows together. Okay, and we see it as it is now, but a week from now, what's going to be going on and where's this grass going? Well, a week from now, we're going to go to the Oklahoma State University new practice fields with it. We will harvest it in, in big roll sod. We have a special machine that makes the big roll sod. It's 42 inches wide, and, and then we have a machine that helps roll it out when we get there. Okay, so you'll truck it to still water. And we'll truck it to still water, uh huh. And then is it kind of like, I mean, you've been growing this for a year, is it kind of like raising a child, so to speak? Kind of is, kind of is. The, the, first, the first couple months are the, are, the, are the hard ones, and then it just kind of takes off, and you just stay with it with water and fertilizer. How important has the OSU research been to your operation? Oh, very, very important. The Patriots made a lot of difference in our, in our business. It's kind of helped us change directions and get more toward the athletic industry. OSU researchers say Patriot grass is specialized. There's no seed and it's grown only as sod, plugs, or sprigs. So in order to do the OSU grasses, we've had to go out and buy soybean fields or, or alfalfa fields or wheat fields. They have to be virgin fields with no Bermuda ever have grown on them. Translation, the fields must be free of what's called contaminant Bermuda grass. And as for maintaining these beautiful fields? It's not as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of figuring out and there's a lot of things. We still learn something every day. It takes some good mechanics. We've got three mechanics and they're busy all the time. In fact, he has 50 employees that help him keep it all going. This time of year at the peak of the season, it's the most labor intensive. We cut it and we ship it immediately and, and then the, the, the installers get it and hopefully this will be installed by this time tomorrow. The extended droughts also impacting operations. John's never watered this much this early in the season. Regardless, he says, life in the sod business is good, especially for the guy who describes himself as a farm boy at heart. It's kind of a fun business and, and there's always a challenge to it. And you just you just kind of get into kind of get into it and you just gotta keep going. We got a lot of equipment and I need to do something with it.